just for first person uh, views then paste everything back on top it would I just saved myself a bunch of time because if I wanted to go down here to this it wouldn't let me so so that whole technique of copying something and then pasting it back on later uh, will will save you a bunch of time now let's move on which I can use this it's a bit bumpy right here um, I can probably edit that Let me actually turn that on and take that off. Uh, well, yeah, that's not bad. Shoot, I'll take that. I right, know the other technique, which is going to be a little bit harder um, and a, a, a lot more cleanup, right? So, if I just flat out turn this into an edit, uh, edit poly, straight from where it's at, right? Um, I need to find a way to bevel these edges right here. I need to find a way to get these edges to be clean enough. Um, I can try to use chamfer, add some edges. But, as you can see, the difference between this right here these stretched out edges and this it's a big difference and if I if I decide to use that in game that's some bad geometry right there it's not form uh, it's not believable like that's horrible I'm trying to go on the left view let's say if I wanted to uh, I mean, you really can't do too much, you know, without going the route that you went. Yeah, yo, um, bruh, it's a lot of work that goes into it. It's, it's, it's a, a, a lot of thinking and a lot of planning. Um, I can try to add some in via looping, but because that edge right there is already right there. It's just not going to act right. Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not going to act right. Um, as you can see, the uh, way I did it before is probably like the best possible way to get that done. So from here, <laughs> and I've been doing this for a minute, but man, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. To me, uh, it's exciting every time that I do this stuff um, I love it uh, it's like I don't know it's like I'm the creator you know what I'm saying it's like I'm making this I am like putting work in you know um, I don't know it's just it's, it's it's like a weird feeling it's like a weird type of creation feeling um, not like that I'm trying to be God or nothing like that but it's just like a weird feeling let me let me actually change this to local and move this down, and um, Hold on, because there's something that's not acting right. It's a... Oh, this? It's like a, um... Strap. It's a uh, strap. This thing, it's not, it's not acting right. Um, and I'm going to actually chunk this up a little bit more. For first person view only, I'm going I'm to just chunk that up. Uh... You know, this piece is super big. Let's go ahead and shrink that down. Um, 
Let me actually add a symmetry modifier because I don't have the other side. I'm going to flip that. Now, a good way to get perfect symmetry on um, certain edges for all my people who actually do modeling, a good way to get it is simple. If you want your symmetry to lie on this edge right here, um, click on that edge, bro right so this edge is this coordinate right here so I'm gonna copy that coordinate I'm gonna go to my symmetry modifier and it's at zero zero I don't need it at zero zero I need it at that edge hit that oh, let me check it again So I make sure that that the edges. Oh, I know why. I know why, because it's not. It's not. It's not com completely lined up. Hold on. Let me let me take this off before it messes it up. All right. So these aren't completely lined up. That's why that that didn't work. So in order to get this completely lined up, it's basically the same thing. Um. I'm looking to see what moves. Is the uh, why is moving right here? So this Y is whatever coordinate that is, 185, whatever. And I'm going to paste it right here. I'm actually move this edge over a little bit, some too. Put on edge constraint because it's going to move down. Take off this. Um, there we go. Now, someone's going to say, well, it's not a hole, and this and that. Well, we're going to get there, brother. We are going to get there. Check out my grid, too. Let me make sure it's roughly where I want it to be. Um, turbo smooth it. Take my pivot. I want, I want my pivot in the middle. Uh, this thing, it may not be in the middle on this image, but trust me, it's in the middle enough. Now, I can move it if I feel like it, but I just prefer that the pivot be in the middle. Um, let me turn on Turbo Smooth. Because I, I really don't need it on. Turn on my angle snap. angle snap it because since this thing is basically already angle snapped anyway so it's going to be alongside alongside the same angle all right so back to what i was talking about that first person view making stuff bigger right so in my left view um let me actually move this up some let me isolate it let me bring this down some. Let me, uh, in my isolation. Dang, that joint synced up for real. Uh, because you won't see it from this left view anyway. Unless I, maybe I'll put it in the middle. Maybe that'll work better. But it asks for now because that left view um, inside of your first person view. The first person view will probably be like something like right here. Um, as you can see, this, this, this piece is obsolete. Like it doesn't matter at all. Because it, 
It, it, it just has no interest. Okay, Max. Right? There's no visual interest right here on this on this piece. And this is where trying to make a game, you know, trying to make the object that you're using of visual interest. I mean, it's there. It'll work in certain games. But certain companies have realized that if you take something, and that's probably a little bit too chunky for this piece. Let's say I take that right there. Let's say I take this to about right here, right? Um, maybe a little bit smaller than that. So now the visual interest of this piece, let me put on turbo smoothing, it, it has changed, right? Um, let's say if the person shot the shotgun, right? And let's see, uh, let me, let me, let me check the pivot. Let's say if the pivot was like right here, right? And, you know, it was animated, right? So the person, you know, that's using the gun and the animator knows that this piece floats freely, right? And they shot the piece and you shot the shotgun and it did like that or something like that. Let me put it on local. So, they, so let's say if you shot the shotgun and it did like that, right? You shot the shotgun and it did like that I can maybe animate it to do that um I don't want to I haven't animated it in a long time um every, everything will have to be attached and a bunch of other stuff it's a lot it's a, a lot of pieces in here but I'm just trying to explain it without having to animate it myself maybe I'll do that in another stream but because the visual interest is right here um and you're holding the shotgun it'll probably be a little bit off screen um, and then like you aim down the sight and it's a sight right there with that. All right, uh, Tatsu. Yeah, bro. We, we definitely going to get up, son. Um, and you like, you aim down the sight and you see that and it's probably an another sight I'm going to put right here, but just having this, that moves up and down, you know, when you're shooting the shotgun, like he shoots it, boom, ch -ch, boom, ch -ch. and this piece is flapping. And like, and like he's, and the character's running, not a he, it can be a she, it can be a, a dog that can walk, whatever. And it's flapping, right, as you're, as you're like running, and it's flat, oh, bravo, yo, like, that's hot. No, these guns are not in, in uh, no type of game. So, that's just some quick visual interest. Um, and what that means, and uh, look at all that at the bottom. That's horrible. Let me let me go ahead and add some uh, edges right here. Let me collapse. Weld. Um, let me add another loop right here. Turbo smooth. Bam. Now I could uh, try to make some interest right here. Um, I can show you another trick right quick. I got tons, man. I got tons. Uh, this. This wouldn't be on that rifle, uh, as you can see that. But you know, I can I can take that same piece um, if I wanted to. Let me change it to view. I can I can take the same piece. Uh, this is gonna be acting all weird. 